What's up guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be going over some of the frequently asked questions regarding the new royalty-free video section in the Freedom Dashboard. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna be reading off of a doc that I created that I'm gonna actually link in the description down below so you guys have that uh, access to that as well. And if you guys have any extra questions that aren't mentioned in this doc, please leave them in the comment section down below so we can add to this and make it a better uh, piece of knowledge for you guys to access in the future. So the first question is, can a Freedom Partners video that uses Reuters video footage get copyright claimed after being uploaded to their channel? And yes, it is possible for a partner to receive a copyright claim on their video, even if all the restriction guidelines were met and the footage in question was altered enough to be deemed fair use. So this can rarely happen to people, but it does happen, so I'm going to mention it. Sometimes your video gets claimed even if you met all the guidelines and you made it your own spin in a fair use manner. And all you have to do is dispute that and usually it gets cleared up within a few days. So let's jump into the next question, which is what are some of the restrictions that Freedom Partners might encounter when using uh, certain pieces of footage from Reuters? So as I mentioned in the previous answer, there are restrictions sometimes when using footage from Reuters. So some of these restrictions might be time delays. So if something's published on the dashboard, it might not be able to be published in video format on a YouTube channel for a few days or maybe a certain time of day that it can be used on that channel. Um, and also, it might not be available to certain countries. So if you're publishing from the United States, maybe it won't be available in something, it might not be available in a country like Germany or maybe somewhere in Asia, just you never know we're gonna come across. Um, in order to find those restrictions, leading into the next question, where can you find the restriction guidelines for pieces of footage that you download from the dashboard? All you have to do is when you click on a piece of footage in the dashboard, where you find the download button underneath of that, you're gonna see a description of the video and you'll see any restrictions for that piece of footage if there are any. And it's rare to come across that, but always be sure to check that section before uh, before using that piece of footage in your own video, just to be safe. And the next question is, what if you get a claim even if you met all the restriction guidelines? Well, you also have to be sure that you're using this footage in a fair use manner. This is news footage and you have to make it your own. So lots of people are gonna be tapping into this resource, especially within the Freedom Community, now that this is a new feature for everybody. So you have to make it your own thing because Reuters looks down upon people that just take their footage and re-upload it without making it their own. And that's really not, a, and that's really not what this is about. This is about taking that footage from Reuters and editing it and mixing it to make it your own piece of work that you can upload to your YouTube channel uh, and feel safe about it. So that's the best way to approach using this footage. So even if you met all the restriction guidelines and you're using this footage in a fair use manner, there's a very small chance that you might get a copyright claim on this video. All you have to do is open a ticket with support.tm stating what your issue is, that you met all the restriction guidelines, that you used it in a fair use manner. And usually you can just dispute those and they'll basically go away if you met all these restrictions, but always be safe, contact our support team just to be sure. And yeah, you should be good to go after that. I think that's all the questions that have come up over the past few months um, and they're listed in this doc, as I said, in the description below. But if I didn't answer any of your questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. We'll add them. Um, as they come in if lots of people are having the same question and yeah, so I guess I will see you guys in the next one I hope this was useful and take care everybody